A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to add background in PDF document. And in order to do the exercise, we will be using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So first thing first, uh, the background tool is here in the more option and background. You can use the add. But if you don't see it, you have to go to the tools tab and press edit PDF and you will see this option is here. So I'm, here I'm going to click background option and press add here. And uh, we are going to choose a color of the background. So I'm going to choose one color like this and you can see a preview here. You can also in the appearance tab, you can change the rotation. And for that one, you have to just change from here. This is a small arrow icon or you can type the number here so here i'm going to choose four degree and you can see it is giving a little difference different appearance here also you can change the opacity level which i'm going to change from 100 percent to 60 percent or you can make it zero percent so it will become go back to the normal where how we have started so we'll keep it 60 percent here you can also change the size of this background relative to the target page. So target page is our this one and uh, background size. So if you want to reduce the size, it is a small arrow icon, which is becoming smaller. Or if you want to increase the size, you can increase. So I will keep it 100% only here. And then I'll move to the other option called appearance option. And uh, here we have two options. First option is that show when printing and it's checked. So what it will do that when we are printing the document, the background will be printed. If you uncheck it, the background will not be printed. So a similar option is the second one. Show when display on the screen, it is checked, means when we are displaying on the screen, background will be visible. And if you uncheck it, the background will not be visible. So I'm going to set all checked and going to press OK and moving ahead. Here we will talk about the position of the background and uh, you can see the references set as a center here and uh, distance marked as a millimeter. So you can move the background in the vertical direction. You can move the background in the horizontal direction based on your preference. So here I'm going to show you just typing a number here and you can see the background has moved upward. If you want to move it down, you can just put negative number and then it will move down. You can also increase and decrease by just pressing this small arrow icon and uh, you can set the location of the background based on a preference. So again I'm going to back to zero from where I've started and you can also change the horizontal distance from the center. So if you put a number it will shift in the horizontal direction like this. Now we will talk about the page range option and uh, in the page range option you can define what all pages background will be placed so if you select all pages the background will be placed on all pages if you want to change the background to be placed on the page number one to five so just select page from one to five and uh, when you set it okay when you set it and after pressing okay the background will be placed on page number one to five there will not be background on the page number six and seven similarly you can select the background on the even pages or you can select the background on the odd pages as well but for this case i'm going to place the background on all pages i'm selecting all pages and pressing ok and i'm going to apply press ok and before that there is another option we have to we can save setting as well so i'm going to name it as a color and uh, saving it as a color background and i'm going to press ok and you will see the background is placed on all pages here. If you want to update it or amend it, you can go to the update option here and you can update it from here. So if you want to change the rotation from 4 degree to 5 degree, you can change it. You can change the distance, you can change various other parameters, you can change it again. And when since you have made a change, it is giving you an option to save it once again. So if you want to save it, you can save it. If you don't want to save it, just ignore. I'm going to press OK once more time and just OK. Uh, if you want to remove the background, what you have to do, you have to go to the background again and just press remove. It will be removed from the PDF page. So that is all for this discussion and hope it has given you an idea about how to add background in PDF using Adobe Acrobat Pro.